Hello you scrubs. Today I will teach you about ball lightning. Never heard of it? I'm not surprised. It was thought to be an urban legend until the 1960s. Now I know what you might be thinking. What even is ball lightning? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a bright, spherical object, which can be pea-sized, or several meters wide in diameter. It's usually associated to lightning storms, but lasts much longer than lightning strikes. How can that be possible? I hear you screaming. Well, the thing is, nobody really knows. The first known instance of ball lightning was in 1596, during a church sermon. A direct quote from John Stowe, there entered in at the west window of the church a dark unproportioned thing about the bigness of a football, and went along the wall on the pulpit side and suddenly it seemed to break with no less sound than if a hundred cannons had been discharged at once. <laughs> and therewithal came a most violent storm and tempest of lightning and thunder as if the church had been full of fire. Pretty spooky, huh? There have even been cases where balls have entered airplanes and left without doing any damage. There have been at least five instances where ball lightning has killed people, and one time a pig. There have been many proposed scientific reasons why ball lightning occurs. But there is no theory that is widely accepted, making ball lightning one of the most mysterious weather phenomenons that we know of.